This aircraft is the famous Memphis Bell. It was the icon of the B-17 Flying Fortress fleet during World War II. This aircraft was the first B-17F model to fly 25 missions in World War II and then return home to the United States. The Restoration Division at the National Museum of the United States Air Force has taken on the task of restoring this historic aircraft. An artifact is timeless, truly, truly timeless. We know that, that this material, this metal, this rubber, this plastic, this was over Germany, over France in 1943. It was there. That is not going to change today or 100 years from now. Photos don't do that, words don't do that, they're not physical. Um, that to me is probably the most important reason why it's worth taking the time and energy to preserve an artifact. Symbolically, getting the, the wings made it on and having it uh, on its landing gear, the aircraft is now taking care of itself in effect. It's been in uh, fixtures and jigs all these uh, months and years as it's being restored, but now it will stand on its own two feet. The goal is to get the aircraft as precisely configured and marked as it was in May of 1943 when the aircraft finished its 25 missions. Growing up, you build models of this, and I've always been into airplanes, and now this is the real thing. It's just really neat to be involved with that and to help honor what these people did. My involvement in the airplane so far has been uh, the wing sections. We cleaned those up, uh, did a lot of work on those, repainted them. Then also the glycol heater, which is on the inboard of the left wing. We had to fabricate that completely. That was one of my first sheet metal projects, so that was a lot of fun. Feels great because it came in here on trucks about seven years ago and uh, it was a long time to get it to this point. We had a lot of work to do on the wings, the landing gear. Um, now that it's up on its gear, we can press on on the inside, and uh, we still have a lot of repair work on the outside to do, but uh, it's easier to work on now since it's up in the air, it's all one piece. It's a really, really uh, robust, heavy airplane. I mean, and working on this one, you see a lot of the original battle damage repairs that were done during the war still there. It means a lot to me because uh, I've been airplane buff ever since I was a little kid and uh, I took a tour through here when I was probably 13 years old and I thought man this would be the neatest place to work and, and now it's happened and I'm just I'm golden. From Wright-Patterson Air Force Base I'm Ken LaRock.